This is NCC Unplugged. Hi, I'm Jonathan Slatt. I'm the youth minister here at Norwin Christian Church. And today I am joined by, well, we'll start ladies first. So I'm joined by Juliet. Hi. Lily. Hi. Eden. Hey. And Adam. Hello. And today we are super excited to talk to you about CIY. Um, I think you guys agree, like once maybe, I don't know, May hits in our church, like CIY is this word that you hear all the time. Um, so just for those of us that don't know, CIY stands for Christ in Youth. Uh, they're an organization that hosts these huge conferences for students uh, of all ages. And we've got a different ones, but um, the high school one is called CIY Move. And that's a huge trip that we take every year. It's probably the biggest thing we do in the youth group in the year. Um, so we've got some students here. We're going to be talking about their experience at CIY, um, why we love going so much, why you hear the words so much. Um, and yeah, hopefully you can get kind of a look at, at what we do in the youth ministry. So um, I'll just kind of open it up to you guys. First question, what is one thing that you want to remember from this year's CIY? Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, so I think it was last year's CIY, uh, a speaker on the third night talked about, uh, how we can have, uh, bad habits that drag us away from God. And one way we try to get rid of those is by chaining ourselves up to try to remove us from other people and from things that may, uh, bring on those bad habits. And he spoke about how we need to break the chains mm. instead of letting them he said we had to make change and not chains in our oh, life. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's a cool thing to remember. Ladies, um, you got anything? I think I really liked, was it Tuesday night, the surrendering all to God? Mm. Um, we like lit up these little candles and they were all on a wall. It was a very emotional night. And it was kind of just like, if you went up there, you were making the decision to just like, give everything over to Jesus. Like no more, like I can do this on my own. I don't need anything. Um, and at the end it was really cool. They brought all the um, boards that like had the lights up on stage and they like spelled out, um, what was it like? Big test year, you remember? <laughs> um, Anybody remember what it was? Was it presence? Yeah, Sorry I with think the it, P was and with an it was presence. It was presence because yeah. that was the, the, it was like pace. That was the present. word. Yeah. It, yeah. Um, and it was on the screen. It was like, I will not fear when I'm in your presence. I won't, mm -hmm. I will not have anxiety when I'm in your presence. I will not doubt when in your presence, like all this stuff. Mm. It was just really cool to see that. And like a lot of it really resonated with me. So. Yeah. Was that the cry night? That was the night everybody. That yeah. Was that, was, right. that was the what? second yeah. cry night. Yeah. Oh, the second, that was the second. Tuesday was the second cry night. Yeah. <laughs> so was Monday the first cry night? Monday was the first cry night. <laughs> The entire week. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just a lot of Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and a little yeah. Thursday. Yeah. Was but that was the day that everybody kind of grouped up and yeah. prayed yes. during yeah. worship. Yeah. Yeah. Like One of the nights we did. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. That was probably my favorite part of the week. That was Definitely. that was super mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. yeah. Another thing I really liked was the very last sermon. Um, I forget what his name was, but he was talking about like staying connected with God, and he was talking about like how there's a tree. And if like a branch falls off and you just put the stick next to the tree, it's not going to grow anymore. Like it's going to die. And he was like talking about that, how like that's our relationship with God. Like if we're just next to him, then that's not going to work. Like we have to be fully like connected and like, um, yeah, just connected like with God to have like a decent relationship with him. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. I think for me this year, it was kind of just the whole theme as a whole talking about mm -hmm. the rest for the rest of our life um I think it's so easy for us all to get caught up in school and sports and relationships and everything so just having that week where it was taking intentional time to focus on him and not to be distracted and learning about how we can carry that into the rest of our lives was super impactful for me yeah it was cool they used the word like mm -hmm. rest of your life rest mm -hmm. of your life mm -hmm. double yeah, meaning. yeah, the double, yeah, meaning. double yeah. meaning gotta love it cool yeah. I also like just all the games and just mm. getting mm -hmm. closer with everybody as like a family. Cause like there was just no like um, disagreement with everybody. Like everybody was friends with everybody. Mm -hmm. I felt like, and especially like me, like I grew closer to people that like, I wasn't thinking I was going to grow closer to that week. And it was like cool to like expand those friendships than just out of like a few people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think this year too, just want to remember that like feeling 
because I know I think it was you that mentioned like CIYs in the past have been very like emotion like an emotional response rather than a spiritual response where you're just getting caught up and like yeah I'm in a room of a thousand people with their hands up worshiping God obviously I'm gonna do that because everyone else is where like this year it really felt more like a spiritual response like I want to take this home with me Mm -hmm. I want to do this when I get home and I am going to because I had that experience yeah Mm -hmm. yeah for sure like the emotional part of it's cool and it's like it's a tool but like you said it's that that spiritual response is is important yeah that's cool um yeah so great week i mean i had so much fun hanging out with you guys and, mm-hmm. and it, it was just i think everyone agrees it was like just so much it was awesome yeah. right yeah. <laughs> yeah, it just felt Wish good I could do it again. right um so i want you to think back though to your first ciy maybe you were like a little baby freshman or you were like <laughs> a little baby sophomore i think in lily's yeah. case yeah. Yeah. yeah i didn't get my first year true, yeah I so Going into it, right, like as registration's opening and all these upper scary upperclassmen are talking about it, right? Did you have any like fears going into CIY? How did you feel like during your first one? And then how did it end up? Like, how'd you feel after the week? Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Like for me at first, like I felt like it didn't belong because I was like, oh no, like, like you said, like I'm just a freshman and like there's so many like older kids going and like, like I wasn't, yeah. Like my brother was pretty (laughs) scary and my sister. So it was like, man. Um, but just like, even though I had those people there, like the very first day I was like terrified of like, how is this going to go? Like, who am I going to like have to hang out with? Like just a bunch of things. And by the end of the week, like I just had like the best time of my life. And even like, even every CIY after that, I just grow closer to like each new like person that I meet and just like a really cool experience. Hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, I think, so, my first DIY was only last year. And going into it, I wasn't really, like, I was a little nervous because you're going away. Mm. In our case, it was 10 and a half hours away from home for a week yeah. with a bunch of your friends. Um, but a lot of my friends are, like, older, so I'd already heard stuff, and I wasn't too, like nervous I hadn't heard anything like terrible or things that I should be scared of yeah um and two there were only two or three incoming freshmen so I was like going into it I was already like okay well if I want to be included I'm gonna have to make an effort to like make myself included because otherwise I was like it's not gonna happen so I think going in with that mindset I was just like all right well you can't just sit in a corner and not do anything because it's not going to get you anywhere. So just like have a good time. Yeah. I remember you being very excited. Yeah. Like for I months. Very <laughs> <laughs> you were part of like the first batch when we started middle school youth group. Mm-hmm. And it was like, I think, I don't know. You, I feel like you experienced CIY through a lot of people before yeah, you actually went and you I were like did. finally able to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, like, yes. I remember that. Yeah. Cool. You, you remember your first one? A long time yeah. ago for you. You yeah, just did was, your last it one. It was a while ago. I actually, I don't know if anybody in here was at my first CIY. It was yeah. the like the COVID summer. So instead of going to a college campus, we went to uh, Seven Springs and stayed mm-hmm. in one of their like lodging houses there. And so it wasn't like the normal CIY experience, but I loved it enough to do it the next year. And that mm-hmm. was at an actual college campus and it was even better. Cool. But yeah, uh, yeah, going in, I'd heard a lot about CIY. My dad's been to like 20 some CIYs. He's been to more CIYs than I've been like alive yeah you know what I mean <laughs> so yeah. a lot if that speaks to his age but um <laughs> uh yeah so I'd like I'd heard a lot about CIY and my first CIY wasn't like a normal CIY but every year just gets better mm-hmm. even when I'm like how could this possibly be topped and it is yeah so for you kind of what did it feel like to like this year being your last one not to make you cry right now but yeah. how, like did it feel different do you feel like you know how, how are you going to use that moving forward I don't know so it was my last CIY and I was the only senior mm-hmm. so that was kind of weird but it didn't make it any worse and it made me think a lot more about the people who are younger than me and how I can impact them and like make them want to go to CIY next year yeah. so that yeah so that there's a lot of people in their graduating class <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, that's cool. That's awesome. Yeah, awesome. So, um, CIY is this like super spiritual growth week, right? We do a lot of fun things. We do a lot of spiritual growth things. How do you see like yourself already more mature 
this summer than you were when you ended the school year? More spiritually mature. I feel like um, the whole week was talking about, like Lily said, like the rest of your life. And so like, even though the summer has been very like busy and chaotic with like all kinds of different soccer, soccer stuff or like youth group events, I feel like I've still like, I've gone into the habit of like taking more rest than I would have like during school or even like last summer. I feel like that's definitely helped me to like stop and like rest. Yeah, just like being more intentional with my time because summer already goes like fast enough, but just taking time out of my day and being like, okay, at this specific time, I'm going to do my devotion. It's not negotiable. Like I have to do it then. Um, and yeah, just being more intentional, spending time with God rather than like, oh, I have an extra five minutes. I <coughs> guess I'll sit down and like read my Bible, just like setting times in my day. And one of the things they talked about was like building rhythms. Um, and they had like a challenge was like go on a 21 minute walk every day, spend 15 minutes on social media hmm. for every day for like three weeks or it was something like that. Like only 15 minutes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like that's it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 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 You have yeah. to spend a minimum of 15 um, yeah. yeah. I get what you mean. Yeah. 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 Um, so I think just like kind of establishing some of my own, like trying to get in the habit of doing things to spend time with God. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I think for me, it's kind of similar to what Juliet said. I know um, in our last small group we had that week, we had to write like a letter to our future self, like a year from then. And you had to like write a like a word that you wanted to focus on for that year. And I wrote intentional. So I think just kind of focusing on that and like carrying that throughout my spiritual life and making sure that I am reading my Bible constantly and I am praying and I am focused on him and not just kind of like drifting off to what is easier to do. Hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Have you guys, or I'm sorry, I didn't give you a chance to answer. Yeah, I was about to say something, but you know, uh, <laughs> yeah. So for me, it's been like, trying to spend more of my time doing things for other people. Mm. So uh, every year our church goes on a mission a mission trip for like the last couple of years. And I had gone on the last two, but I wasn't originally planning on going on this one. And then during CIY, like I got a text saying that there was a an open spot. And I kind of like pushed it to the back of my mind. And then like during one of the, I think it was the Tuesday night one, I texted back and I said, if the spot's still open, I'd love to do it. And I got like a text back immediately saying it just opened up for sure. So oh, you're able to go. Cool. So I was like, well, that's pretty cool. So yeah, yeah, just like using time that I would have normally just spent on my time on myself, spending it uh, on other people. That's super cool. Yeah. So where, where's the mission going? Where are you headed? Arizona. Cool. So you know what you're doing? Nope. Or are you just like, you're full <laughs> I'm, I'm on, I'm just along for the ride. Nice. <laughs> cool. The whole thing is kind of like how we have our VBS. Like we did like the scuba this year. Mm -hmm. They have like their own kind of like VBS, VBS. And so we're kind of helping with that. And there was another thing, but I forget the other thing. But that yeah. was like the main thing. Just like helping with kids and stuff. That's cool. You're going? Yeah. Nice. Sweet. That's awesome. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a huge way to, to follow God is like, especially... You're just like, I'm going. I don't even know what we're doing. You're just going to do whatever Eden says. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, that's awesome, guys, though. Um, so every year they give out Kingdom Worker cards. Um, can someone explain kind of what Kingdom Worker cards are? And then if any of you guys opened yours, could you let us know what it is and how you plan to or have already started working on it? So you basically get this card, and it's in a little envelope and you can decide to open it or not. If you open it, you're committed to it. Like you have to do it at that point. There's no going back. And mm -hmm. there's different challenges in them to do. Um, it could be something as simple, simple as like, pray for your youth minister, um, write a thank you note for your teacher. It could be something really big. Like I know one of them last year was like, spend three days in the wilderness without your phone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How are people gonna do that? Yeah, right. <laughs> um, but yeah. I think it's it's really cool. Um, mine this year was start a Bible study at school and meet every or two times every month for twelve months. Mm -hmm. So, don't know 
quite yet how I'm going to do that because school doesn't last a whole year. But That's true. make it work. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Sweet. That's awesome. Yeah. So you're kind of looking forward to that Yeah. in the school year. Yeah. Did anybody else open theirs? I opened mine and also yeah. has to do with school year and school. Um, so I got, it was like um, once a week, wake up 15 minutes early and go to your school and pray for your school. Hmm. But I'm homeschooled. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, waking up 15 minutes early once a week would look like praying for my family and stuff like that. Yeah. So, you get up at like, what, like 1.45? Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, around there, yeah. yeah. Um, so I know we had talked about whenever I got home about kind of what that can look like for me. So I mm -hmm. am still completing it, but it's a little bit more, not purposeful, it would be purposeful praying for my family, but like closer to what the card is. So instead, my card is gonna be once a week during the school year, like pray for my family and my school and stuff, but then also show up 15 minutes early for youth group and pray for youth group. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I love how you made it kind of like work for your Murray Academy situation. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's awesome. Cool. Oh, you've got, you opened one, didn't you? I have actually only ever opened one. Okay. And it was my first year and it was go through every like go through a couple of, I forget whatever the longest chapter in Psalms is mm -hmm. go well, through. Making. Yeah. Go through a, like a verse a day mm. and meditate on it. So that took me a long time. Yeah. And I had to restart several times <laughs> okay. because I would miss a day or a week somewhere during mm -hmm. the school year that I wouldn't come back to it. And I just, I could not, I didn't feel like I could look at a, open another card until I had completely done that one. Mm. So yeah, yeah, that's cool. I mean, dedication to doing that is is huge. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so Kingdom Worker cards are awesome. We, there's more people in our youth group opened them. Hopefully, we can encourage them to to do those as we go. Um, but kind of moving to more of like a personal question. I like, guess these have all been personal questions, but like just think back to the many, 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 many games we've played at CIY. And I'd love to know your least favorite and your most favorite, whichever one you want to give first. And if you don't even want to specify, that's fine. But your least favorite and your most favorite of the games that we've played. Well, I think I speak for most of our youth group whenever I say my least favorite games, and we don't even play it anymore, is Signs. Uh -huh. <laughs> Which hurts my heart because that was like one of my favorite games at youth group. I've never had to play it. I know. I was going to say the, back, no, like, the incoming sophomores and the incoming freshmen don't have Signs. They don't even know. I'm fine with that. You don't know what you're missing out on. I've, Not much. I've been told how to play. I, I don't want to play it. <laughs> Can you explain what Signs is? Yes. Yeah, so That's part of the problem though, right? Is like... It's such a People complicated... People just don't understand it. Like, it's not that hard. Just, exp yeah, just understand. <laughs> so everyone gets a sign. And once you get your sign, like, you're committed to it. You have it till you graduate. It looks like a hand sign. Yes, like, exactly. Yeah. So some people... I think mine's a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Some people have a butterfly. Um, your dad has the... Uh, what do you want me to shoulders, demonstrate? Knees and toes, knees and toes. Yes, it's head, well, it's, I won't. It's head, shoulders, <laughs> it's, it's head, shoulders, <laughs> it's knees. I'm not gonna. It's head, <laughs> shoulders, knees, toes, clap, clap. Yes. And spin around. And Praise spin the around Lord. And sit down. So that one's an extra hard one to do. But someone's in the middle and a person on the outside of the circle gets like a metaphorical ball mm -hmm. and you have to like pass it around. So you like do. <laughs> metaphorical is a good word for it. Like so that. you have to do another person's sign and they have to like receive it. And then you're trying to go around and pass this metaphorical ball. See, this is why no one likes it. It's such it. a great game. <laughs> it's like, so good. Without the person horrible. in the middle. I love knowing. it. Well, the person in the middle hates it, but that don't get in the middle. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's a bull. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's an older game. That's a classic. So sorry, Jeff, if you're listening, but I tried to keep it alive. Um, you failed. So I thank you, Juliet. Appreciate that. <laughs> um, what is your favorite game then? Favorite? Um, I like Zap. Mm. That's a good one. one. Yeah, Shout out to Megan Polchinski for that one. Mm. Yeah, she brought that one to the youth group. Cool. Any other least favorites? Favorites? I like Ultimate Fruit. That's always a Ooh. classic, fun, mm -hmm. fun one. Except a, whenever you have to eat like a nice, soggy, warm tomato. That's not my favorite. Yeah. But playing the game is fun. What is it? Why, why are we eating soggy um, warm tomatoes? So it's like 
the easiest way to explain it is like it's ultimate frisbee but with the fruit mm -hmm. so like when you catch it you like can't move you just toss it back and forth um you know there's like two teams and stuff and if you're the one who like makes it past like the line you have to take a bite of the fruit that you're like passing with and it it's really <laughs> gross but it's like you gotta do it you know yes, what i mean you do so yeah that's and it squishes really easy <laughs> oranges yeah. attempted a banana Use a tomato. Is that all? What else? An apple before? Apple, banana. Yeah. That was a wild that one. Was, that was like a, yeah. a grape. Like a no. small grape. <laughs> like yeah. yeah. That would be crazy. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's fun though. Nice. I really like kill ball. Okay. Kill ball is like my favorite. I love it so much. Um, like people are going to be like, yeah, what are you like, doing? I thought this was a good youth group. And you stand in a circle and there's a volleyball and you're just like bumping the volleyball like mm -hmm. normal. But if someone like hits it and it's a bad hit or it like goes out of the circle, they have to sit in the middle. Mm -hmm. And then the people on the outside still hitting the ball after, is it three mm -hmm. passes? Uh -huh. They can spike it on the person. Yeah. And it gets really aggressive sometimes and mm -hmm. it's really, really fun. It is. And if the person in the middle, if someone in the middle catches it, they get to go back into the circle and the person that hit it last has to go in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a fun one. That's a yes. good one. I always, when I explain that to like a new person, that's a hard one. Like, I'm always like, our youth group has horrible aim. Anyway, most of them don't hit the spikes. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Cool. F least favorite, favorite? Yeah. Well, a little bit on, yeah, kill balls good, but ultimate fruit's better. Ultimate mm. fruit's my favorite, and signs is my least favorite. So you've okay. already, yeah, we've already covered on it. both of those. Yeah, yeah, awesome. I love ultimate frisbee. Mm -hmm. I could play that every yeah. day. And soccer. And soccer. We yeah, did a lot of that this year. Mm -hmm. Soccer is my least favorite. Soccer yeah. usually your new least favorite. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Uh, good. Hey, um, but <laughs> you know, if you guys, if someone was to like come to you and they're nervous about going to CIY, right? Um, or really any retreat, right? Like our church does a lot of retreat for different ages. We'll do junior high camp for middle schoolers. Sometimes they'll do super start for elementary school. We even have like men's and women's retreats that people can go on. Um, what would you say to someone that's kind of like apprehensive about going to something like that? Maybe they don't think it's for them. They're not sure. What's, what's um, something you'd want them to consider? I think the idea that it wouldn't be for them is like completely wrong. Mm -hmm. So I think like just changing their mindset on that first, because even if they don't, even if they don't have a relationship with God, even if they're not super close with him and don't really want to spend a whole week or even a weekend, um, like learning more about him, there is so much fun that we have for that purpose mm -hmm. to get them to like want to come and um, then they end up learning more about him. So I think just, letting go of the fear and worry that, oh, maybe I'm not gonna make friends. Maybe I'm gonna be excluded. Maybe I'm not gonna understand like what's going on that like God's gonna make a way through it and that you will learn something and you're gonna take fun mm -hmm. away from it and you're gonna grow closer to God. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, kind of along the lines of that, like it just, I think the experiences that you have like at, at the actual retreat like far outweigh all the worries that you have going into it because it's honest like you just have so much fun and like even if you're not a people person like you will find your people there like I can promise you it's it's just it's so much fun and all the spiritual experiences you have and like getting closer to God it's it's just it's worth it awesome yeah for sure so yeah I don't know I've like, I've had to, like, I've had to not co coax people into, um, mm -hmm. like coming to events and stuff, but I've like, I've brought multiple people to different things. And the main thing I say is that I'll be there. So yeah. like, I won't, like, I promise I won't, I won't leave your side. I might, but you know, yeah. I don't <laughs> yeah. tell them that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Sometimes they'll leave your side. Yeah. Exactly. Like getting what we're doing. And yeah. They'll go make their own friends. So. Yeah. For sure. That's awesome. Yeah. Going with them is, is a huge thing for sure. I think it kind of goes along with what you guys have been saying so much about like, um, I feel like it's something that came up a lot in our youth group after CIY was changing it from I'll pray for you to like, let's pray now. Yeah. I think you, that speaks to that of like, don't just tell them to go. It's like, no, I'm, I'll come with you. Like, let's do it. Yeah. What, what would you say to somebody? Like 
if God wants you there, he'll make you be there. Like mm. no matter like what you think, like God has a plan. Like if if you like in the end decide that you won't go, then God will like have another plan for you. But if you do go, like God will use the, you there and the people around you, even if like, or either if they're planting seeds in you or you don't even know, but you're planting seeds in them, like God will use you. Like I've seen them like many different like people, like either friends I brought or like, friends my friends have brought just like a bunch of different people like whoever's at that event is there for a reason because like god has brought them there and mm -hmm. i feel like don't be nervous if you're like oh i don't know if i'm supposed to be there because i don't know anyone like by the end like you guys are saying like you will know people and you will have good friends like god will use you in the way that he wants to use you yeah awesome awesome so we'll do one more question um what are you looking forward to for next year's ciy you have to answer this too, so you might have to be creative. Okay. <laughs> we'll come to you last. Yeah. Um, I hope the upcoming freshmen have a good time. That's always <laughs> it's my other brother coming up. So I just feel like um, making them have like a good enough experience, either like if it's making friends or especially going growing closer to God. I really want them to all have like a spiritual growth because I feel like even if you're already close with God, like you go to CIY and you're like, you grow closer, like no matter who you are, I feel like. And I feel like just making that like group stronger, like in the youth group, I feel like is very important to me. Yeah, I think for me, it's really similar because next year will be my last year. And then after that, you know, I have <laughs> a summer that, and then I leave. So kind of making sure that, you know, they get to have a good experience and then they get to have a great rest of the time in youth group. Um, after I don't get to be there anymore. Um, but then also the, what's that called? The next level, mm -hmm. is that what it's called for the graduated seniors? I'm really looking forward to that, to get to go and spend time with mm -hmm. people who are going through the exact same thing as I am um, and learning more about what that even holds because I have no clue what they talk about there. <laughs> yeah. So I'm excited for Wait, that. It's a secret till you're yeah. a graduate, yeah. Um, yeah, similar to that. I'm really looking forward to just like, adding more people to our youth group family um this year especially has just felt like one big family like everyone will have their disagreements once in a while every like of course but we just all like get along real well and like everyone's included we're never mm -hmm. like oh well they can't do that like I don't know it's just really fun and then I'm looking forward to see where we go um and top three because top three is always something to look forward to it's really good this year yeah Can you, top three. Oh yeah um so top three they have um one of the speakers from ciy um do like it was a bit different this year it was mm -hmm. on apologetics this year which was like it was so so good um the year before that was like top three things I would change. I'd change. Like if I had a time machine. I, yeah. I could like go I'd back go back in time mm. and change in high school. Mm, okay. um, but it's just always interesting to hear um, people's perspectives on stuff that you're like, oh, maybe I should change that too. Mm. Like this could be better for me. Um, and it's really just like advice, like how to handle high school because it's a wild time. <laughs> it is. It's, <laughs> yeah. It is a wild time for sure. Cool. But still upon us uh, some wisdom. Some <laughs> wisdom. So I'm not going to be there next year, but I'm still going to try to get people to go. Mm. Like, I don't know if I should name drop here, but I'm not going to. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to. You got to, some people in mind. Yeah. I'm, yeah. That I'm going to. Yeah. So be praying for. So be trying to convince to come to things. So sweet. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. Well. Thank you guys so much for being on here. Uh, I know you're very brave to sit in front of a microphone and, and talk about your spiritual life. So, um, what? The shirts. What about them? We all we got all of these shirts yeah. at CIA. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pretty awesome. So we can get some some crazy Jesus drip. <laughs> yes. So come to CIA. Yeah. Yeah. They also have a website. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you can get a shirt on the website. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. For sure. So. Yeah, what is the website? Oh, it's like, <laughs> I don't even know. I think it's just, if you look up CIY, you can click and it goes to their website and then there's like a shop tab. 
Yeah. Maybe? I think CIY.com. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Let's hope. <laughs> Let's hope. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's, it's not like a weird different. domain yeah. that takes yeah. you somewhere. Yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much. Uh, huge thank you to everyone listening and, and to our church that um, is so generous with their time and their, you know, so generous financially as well that enables us to do trips like this. Um, and there is a student cost, but it's, it's hugely, hugely discounted because of the the generosity of the church, which I think enables a lot of people to go. Um, so we're always so grateful for that and so grateful for your support of the youth ministry. Um, we, we really want to live out that these guys, the youth are not the future of the church, but they're the church. Now uh, we want to do what we can to make them the part of the body of the Christ and help them follow the spirit where they are now. Um, so be sure to check out um, other episodes of NCC Unplugged. Uh, check out the Norwin Youth uh, YouTube as well. We post some things there. Um, we really post stuff because Lily runs it on the uh, Norwin Youth <laughs> Instagram. That's at Norwin Youth. Uh, some quality content on there. Um, but thanks. We hope you have a great week and that you'll join us for the next NCC Unplugged. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to NCC Unplugged. If you've enjoyed listening to our podcast, we encourage you to share this with your friends and family. NCC Unplugged is available on all major podcast platforms. And if you're ever interested in experiencing Norwin Christian Church firsthand, we invite you to join us for our services every Sunday at 845 and 1030 a.m. We have engaging classes available for all ages, ensuring there's something meaningful for everyone in our church community. For more information about NCC or any other inquiries, visit norwinchristianchurch.com 